right, so COVID-19 has become a global situation where the World Health Organization declared a global alert. Evidently, because this is something that is being spread with people transferring and traveling between destinations, there is a very proactive role that the travel and tourism sector needs to take. While there have been no suspected or confirmed cases of COVID in Puerto Rico at this time, we are aware of the fact that there's been cases reported elsewhere in the United States and also in neighboring islands. So our approach to this is the government of Puerto Rico is working closely with the health and CDC, the health department and CDC, in order to establish the necessary protocols that allow us to prevent and contain if there were a suspected case in Puerto Rico. So we've published guidelines that we've shared with the local industry in order to be able to do those things. Simultaneously, working closely with all of our private sector partners and Discover Puerto Rico to make sure that travelers have the most updated information. Discover Puerto Rico evidently tasked with communicating to potential Abroad. and current visitors has been receiving that information in order to implement your own strategy. Have there been cancellations, you know, flight cancellations or cruise ship um, stop cancellations, anything at all? There have been no flight cancellations to Puerto Rico at this time, nor have there been cancellations for cruise ships affecting Puerto Rico at this time. Okay, and so what are you doing abroad um, to communicate the message that there has been nothing so far? Sure. So as Carla mentioned, the role of Discover Puerto Rico is to be the outbound messenger off-island, not only to visitors, but also to meeting planners who might be considering coming here who already have plans and bringing groups to the island. So the first thing is we're taking all the information that comes from the tourism company, which of course is an extension of the rest of the government, the health department and others, to share that with meeting planners and visitors who may have concerns or questions. As Carla mentioned, this is a global situation, so we have to be prepared to message that accordingly. Second, Secondly, we're also working with those planners who already have plans to bring groups here to share with them exactly what we're able to do with uh, their groups and with the local hotels. A lot of our local businesses are very, taking this very, very seriously. Uh, there's a lot of precautions being put in place, so we want to share that so they know that Puerto Rico is prepared. And the third, thankfully we haven't had to do this yet, is if we did have an incident or suspected uh, case of COVID here, we want to be prepared to message that accurately and timely so that the, uh, the message doesn't get out with inaccurate information or misinformation or put out of context. So thankfully we haven't had to do that yet, but we're prepared to respond accordingly when the time comes. No group cancellations yet? No, we're hearing a lot of groups that have concerns, and there have been a couple of groups that have had to postpone their meetings, uh, simply be not because of any concerns about Puerto Rico, but because of international attendees that would be coming here. Uh, we're watching it very closely because we know that it could affect group business down the road. Thankfully, uh, the effect so far has just been more positive. And so Carla Campos, uh, in terms of hotels, um, have, have you heard of cancellations You know, for room nights? Are people backing off of perhaps coming to the island now? So as Brad mentioned, we haven't really had very many cancellations, but we are aware of the fact that international travelers are being a lot more conservative with their decisions for travel right now. Our recommendation is to look at the official sources of information. So if you have upcoming travels and you're sick, we wouldn't suggest you travel at this time. If you have a cruise ship planned to Asia, the CDC is also advising against it. Simultaneously, if you are traveling to China, Italy, Hong Kong, Japan, or Iran, you have to be cautious and you have to follow the guidelines that the State Department publishes. The website is travel.state.gov. Beyond that, that, we just would encourage that you exercise the normal precautions that you exercise when you travel. Healthy habits are very important at this time. It's not just COVID. Influenza in the United States is a problem right now, and there is an epidemic. So you do have to be a smart traveler, um, but so far our local industry has not felt widespread um, implications or cancellations, but we are monitoring the situation closely and preparing our industry so as to prevent any huge impacts as a result of this global situation.